Okay, so this is actually a very serious video, but I'm going to do my best to try and make it as lighthearted and funny as possible. But at the end of the day, it's being lighthearted and funny and not serious that has got us to a place where I, f I personally feel like this video needed to be made. So, yeah. Sexual assault is part of our society. Sexual assault is part of our society. And that's fucked up, but it's true. And it's something that we all have to live with in everyday life. That there are people walking among us that have been sexually assaulted. And the more you think about that, the more and more it kind of builds up at, to the point where you're like, actually, no, that's not okay. And something happened the other day that kind of opened those floodgates for me and kind of made me really stand up and take a good hard look at myself and what I was doing to kind of help this problem because it's not okay until we actually stop and start actually talking about these major issues that are going on in our society nothing is ever going to be done about them and that's the cold hard truth the fact that we are so conservative and scared to talk about these massive topics that are going on in everyday life like sexual assault is the reason that they are so prevalent in everyday society. It's the same as everything not being spoken about, but it's a much harder topic to talk about. And that's understandable because it is. It is an absolutely atrocious thing to have to talk to people about. But until people do start to stand up and talk about it, which I'm not saying that they don't, because there are definitely people that are, let me just put that out there and disclose that. But until as a whole, this thing gets lifted and it becomes something that is talked about, like, you know, mental illness is starting to become something that is really talked about in today's society. Today is Are You OK Day, so I really hope you are all OK. If you're not, please feel free to message me. I'm an open book. I love talking to people. So if you're not OK, please message me or reach out to somebody who you trust to talk to them because it is OK not to be OK. But it's not OK to sexually assault someone. That's not OK. And until people start to talk about this issue, more and more and it becomes something that is oh, it's so it's so hard to explain it's so serious and it's something that needs to be spoken about because as i keep have because as i've already repeated myself multiple times at the start of this video it's not going to change unless we make the change because by us all as a society ignoring it and kind of pushing it under the rug it's gonna keep going the way it's going like i'm just going to read out some statistics about sexual assault right now ready Okay, just hold on to something. Over 50% of teenagers are reported to have been a victim of sexual assault. And that is only the reported. If that's how, if over 50% of teenagers only reported, imagine how many people are unreported, how this happens to, and it's, it's mind boggling. You could, you're walking down the street and one in two people, like one person walks down this side of you, one person walks down this side of you, and one of them has been sexually assaulted. Huh? I know this kind of seems like a bit of a ramble, but I promise there's a point at the end of this video, so please just, just bear with me, I promise. One in two women are sexually assaulted in their lifetime, and one in five men. 79% of female rape victims report that their rape occurred before the age of 25. 28% of male victims say their first, first, rape was before the age of 10. And you know what all of this starts with? Education. Being in the know about all this stuff is how you stop it. Because if you don't know about these things, how do you know what's right and wrong? How do you know what's left from right if you're not taught what's left from right? How do you know that sexual assault isn't okay unless someone says to you, sexual assault is not okay? And that is the problem. Education about sex education about bodies and about consent and that being the biggest one consent that seven letter word and as it states in the dictionary sexual assault is an act in which a person intentionally sexually touches another person without a person's consent or caresses or physically forces a person to engage in a sexual act against their will without consent Consent is what takes emotion of love, of joy, or even friendship. It takes something that is 100% okay and normal and human and turns it into something that is evil and gruesome 
and traumatizing to the point where it changes the victim's life forever. And I can personally say that I am not a victim and I'm very lucky and grateful to say that. But the fact that I have to say that is also really fucked up because I know I have a lot of close friends and yeah I say a lot not even in an over exaggerated way I know multiple people throughout my day to day life that have been affected by this and it's not okay it is the simple words of yes or no that take this act of love friendship whatever and takes it from one end of the spectrum to the complete other yes or no those five letters y-e-s-n-o the five letters that are 99.9% .9 of the English speaking human population's first words that is what it takes but yet we are so embedded in this idea that we shouldn't talk about it and we should just push it under the rug that we don't do anything about it and that's how it all starts because the kids aren't taught what this stuff is and then they have to experience it and then they keep it in like it's not okay it's something that i discovered this week that has kind of as i said opened my floodgates and made me really passionate and angry about this subject it's horrifying and it's more horrifying than me shoving wasabi down my throat which is what this week's video was meant to be the video that is being shown in schools about sex and consent the thing that takes sex from being an act of love to a criminal act it's so conservative that teachers don't actually teach this stuff anymore it's all taught by a video that kids sit down and watch. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, but that's how a lot of things are taught these days. It's not the format that has me burnt up hotter than the Notre Dame. It is the content. So I'm gonna, we're, we're gonna watch it. If you're still struggling with consent, just imagine instead of initiating sex, you're making them a cup of tea. You say, hey, would you like a cup of tea? And they go, oh my God, I would love a cup of tea. Thank you. Then you know they want a cup of tea. If you say, Hey, would you like a cup of tea? And they're like, uh... A cup of tea. They've taken something as simple and innocent as a cup of tea and turned it into this metaphor about sex. That's not the worst bit. You know, I'm not really sure. Then you can make them a cup of tea or not, but be aware that they might not drink it. And if they don't drink it... Let's just put that into terms. The... If you get offered a cup of tea and you're like, hmm, not sure, you're allowed to make them a cup of tea, but if they don't drink it, then that's okay. So let's just kind of decode this. If you say to someone, hey, do you want to have sex? And they're like, hmm, not sure. You're allowed to stand there and get naked, but if they say no still, that's okay. No, it's not. That is not okay at all. And this is the important bit. Don't make them drink it. Just because you- So you're allowed to stand in front of them naked even if they've said, I'm not really sure, but you're not allowed to go any further. Some people change their mind in the time it takes to boil the kettle, brew the tea and add the milk. I, I can't. Okay. If you want to watch the full video, I'll leave a link in the description, but basically the rest of the video goes on in, about these whole different scenarios about people drinking tea and how if they, like there's, there's one in there about if someone's unconscious, which yes, if someone is unconscious, don't force them to drink tea. But that's not the way we should be teaching kids how to deal with this stuff because literally this is the pro okay so the metaphor is fine if that's the way you want to teach people about it that's fine but if that's all you teach them about it then that's the bit that's fucked up because if your kid was to come home and that's what they've learned at school and they say so mum in the playground today joey gave me a cup of tea even though i told him not to and then I said no but he still gave it to me and he made me drink the cup of tea what's your response gonna be that's well don't be rude, he made you a cup of tea, drink it. Your kid is potentially telling you that they've been sexually assaulted in some way or another and because they haven't been taught about it, they come home and tell you, but you don't un you don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is, but those videos, in my opinion, they're not okay. That way of teaching about these very, very important subjects that everybody needs to have a clear and common understanding about is not okay. Everybody needs to know what a penis and what a vagina is and what they do and how they work because that's how the human race functions. And if people don't know that from a young age, then they're not gonna learn it in proper ways. And there's chances that they'll learn it in the wrong ways. And then that's how the rest, that's, it's the snowball effect. I don't know, I'm not a qualified person in this field. I'm just a really passionate teenager who's found this thing and I'm, 
frustrated and infuriated by it. It's not okay. I don't know what the solution is. I just know that someone needed to speak up about it because you can't be teaching kids that sexual assault is like a cup of tea because if that's all they know that sexual assault is and they come and tell you that they've had a cup of tea even though they don't want it, you're just gonna throw it off and be like, okay, well next time just don't drink the tea. But if your kid came home to you and said, oh mum, Johnny in the playground touched my penis, you're gonna be like, what the fuck? You see the difference? You know, your kid, come your kid comes home and says, Mum, Uncle Sam made me a cup of tea tonight and I didn't want it, but he still made me drink it. Okay. What, what else are you gonna respond to that? It's the same, it doesn't have to be a cup of tea, it can be anything. You need to teach kids what this stuff is, okay? I've just been, I've got really mad about it and it's really upset me. So if this resonates with you at all, um, I'm currently up, it's 2.30 a.m. and the Apple event starts in half an hour, but I wanted to make this video because it's made me really upset. As I said, heavy video and I genuinely, genuinely feel sick about all of this stuff, but I just felt like I had a voice that needed to be heard by someone and if this helps someone achieve something or speak out about something in some way, then mm, mission complete, I guess. So if this resonated with you at all, send me a message. If, you, if you're not feeling okay, I'd love to chat. You know, I'm an open book. I do love chatting to people about everything and everything. If you agree with that methodology of teaching kids that way, let me know, let me know in the comments below and I'd love to hear your side of the story. This is just my opinion. You know, everything starts with someone speaking up about a topic and if people don't agree, then it's the internet. They're going to have their say. But if you want to have your say, tell me down in the comment section below and I want to hear it because I'm genuinely interested. Yeah. Other than that, sexual assault's not okay. And that's all there is to it. If you need help, go and see somebody. Things will get better. I promise. A cup of tea is a cup of tea. A cup of tea is not sex. See you later.